that they're both going into Sky Terran at this point. They're both adding those extra star ports, getting extra Vikings to win the air battle. And I really like where Ryung is going. He's getting Liberator range. So with Liberator range, he can start to poke at these tanks and maybe make them unsiege a little bit as well. Okay, now this is huge. Ryung comes in here, down at the bottom right. He had just enough range to actually try to drop over here. Uh, didn't move any of that army in the middle. Those are the new units that were rallied out. And it doesn't seem like Bion can actually move uh, just yet to try to save this. He does come down. Now, will that trigger Bion to attack in here in the center? I don't know. But there's a lot of Marines that are not there to help protect. Mm. Continues to push over here. Brings out a couple of his own Liberators oh, as well. Wow. That's a great move. This is smart. Yeah, especially if he has a Viking lead here. And in fact, look at how quickly he'll take out a couple Siege tanks. Yeah, uh, very nicely done so far here by Bion. Um, another drop over here down in the bottom right. Remember, Ryung has remained untouched over here on his side of the map. He really hasn't taken any damage at all, uh, whereas Bion has been knocked out at the bottom right quadrant, uh, mm. which is going to probably play a bigger role later on, especially if he loses his entire army and has to spend his bank again. Yeah, that's very true. He has a lot of extra command centers, so he can try to float those down. The thing is, he's focusing so heavily on the middle, he's really not worried about that. And he's actually just going for it, stemming forward. He's decided that he can break through, and oh his Marines God. took out a lot of siege tanks. And he actually managed to destroy all of that. Now is a critical moment. Uh, Bion has to seize the moment and, and try to push through as far as possible. Meanwhile, Ryung over here going to move through the center right location on the map and try to take out reinforcements that may be coming in here, ideally tanks and medevacs, anything like that. Uh, but a good surround here. Bion is going to clean this up no problem. Yeah, Bion doing a fantastic job right now. Look at all those command centers as well. He leads in tanks. He leads in the sky, I believe, as well. Uh, definitely going to have more Marines right now for Ryung which means that he does have a, an edge in mobility, but generally speaking, that's not as good as the pure brute force of what Bion has right now. Yeah, well, Bion has a lot more of the technical units that you need to close out a TVT. Marines are great, but you, you definitely need a lot of tanks and, and everything else. So he does come over here very nicely done. It's gonna be up to Ryung to try to position tanks to take this out here on the high ground. Uh, sieging up that base, uh, forcing Ryung not to mind. The thing is, Ryung doesn't care about this that much because he took so many bases in the top left that Bion has not even touched. Synchronized uh, Viking flower, I guess That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like synchronized swimming, yeah. Uh, we have a drop over here at the top now. If it's just the Marines coming out there, they can't kill that planetary, but he can stay try to get uh, in a position where he can hit from behind the minerals mm. and try to stop mining from coming in there, and it looks like that's what he's going to do right here. Not going to go too far forward. Now, we saw Bion win that big fight, but he wasn't able to actually crack into the left side of the map, so to speak, yeah. and try to cut the bases uh, in half. But he is still putting on enough pressure that if Ryung doesn't respond and fix this situation pretty quickly, uh, Bion is eventually going to get a bigger and bigger lead. All oh, right, here, now, we go, here we go. Ryung might be getting ready to try to do a bust here, but still that sky advantage going to Bion, trying to push everything back. The tank of Axe, the Vikings, pick off anything he possibly can. Still denying a lot of mining around the map as well, as he does take another base himself. Okay, so he's trying to find a hole here where he can fire some Viking shots. And look at that, he baits him into stimming and then runs back out. If those Marines go too close, as you see exhibited over here, uh, they'll be eating tank shots. Uh, and I, I actually got to say, I think Bion, even as good as Ryung is, and this has been pretty neck and neck, Bion is starting to impress me a little bit more here. Yeah. He's really, you know, he, he, he went up another level in tech with the Liberators. We didn't really see that happening here from Ryung. Ryung kind of stopped. He got only a certain distance. When Bion took the Sky advantage, he started to take the overall advantage of the game. And the thing is, Ryung did have extra starports and stuff, but he just didn't quite keep up on these Vikings. And now suddenly, Bion is the dominator. He has pushed past that halfway point that Ryung used to control, and now he's starting to take oh, advantage. Oh, hold up, hold up! He's oh. going to try to push through here. Now, the tanks are pretty spread out. Uh, the Marines eventually have to back up, but that was a pretty damn mm. good angle uh, to come up at. I was going to say a second ago before their supplies plummeted. Uh, it's actually pretty tricky to get um, the right Viking balance and tank balance later yeah. on when you're almost maxed out because you get to a point where you can't make anymore. Yeah. So you have to have a really good sense of keeping track of what your army's like and theirs is. And of course, just a situation in the game for how to approach it. So yeah. pretty impressive stuff. That was a great move by uh, Ryung that we just saw as well. That was a great equalizer because he yeah. killed a lot of Vikings there, a lot of siege tanks. It was one of those moments where you can really utilize your huge ring count. Now he's oh, going oh. again, stemming forward here. A lot of siege tanks there. Uh, Beyond actually stemming Whoa. in from behind, but Ryung is starting to punch through. This is like uh, watching 
Dragon Ball Z where they're both shooting beams at each other oh, and yeah. it's going back and the other guy's like, Whoa! and then his <laughs> beam starts to win. Um, well, that was a very nice play there by Ryung. That actually knocked Bion Supply down to 150. Uh, Ryung right now at 176, but that'll probably shoot up again once his next production cycle starts. And uh, honestly, for all the fighting that uh, Bion did to push across the map, he has actually, uh, Ryung has actually knocked him back out of his territory. Um, and I'm going to remark on something, but first got to see what happens with this attack up here. Oh, that's a big stim in, but he has to pull back. And the, those tanks place too well. Notice he's using that center area where nothing can walk. He's using that perfectly. The Marines can't actually hit those tanks without way clumping up around the corner. So really good positioning here from Bion. He does back up as Ryung stims forward. And, like, Bion is really utilizing that perfectly right now. These guys are playing the TVT of a lifetime here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like definitely like something I would even go back and watch again entirely because it's so it's so close and it's so neck and neck. Yeah. I mean, let, let, I also want to point out one factor which may uh, play a role here. Remember, guys, that Ryung has had more bases on the left side of the map for longer yes. than Beyond. There's a chance that Ryung mines out first. And this is this weird thing in StarCraft. Uh, it's always been kind of a rule. But occasionally, one guy gets too much of a lead, and he, he spends all of his resources while the other guy who was behind managed to stay in the game. Yeah. And then one guy runs out of money, and then the other guy can end up winning because he just has some remaining resources. Ultimately, that guy was better at playing from behind, and the yeah. guy with the advantage couldn't actually utilize the advantage to end it. So keep your eyes peeled for that, especially with Ryung, how many command centers he has, how many mules he's probably landing right now. Yeah, his economy's been better for a really long time, but yeah. they have similar supplies, they have similar banks, and that just comes down to Ryung is trying to finish the game over and over and just not being as cost efficient. So it is something that could occur in this game for sure. Well, um, it looks like Ryung wants to try to come dive in here again looking for any kind of position. Already, Bion is, is pretty much prepared for anything that his opponent's going to throw yeah. at him. Yeah, see, the way that Ryung is playing this, he's playing like the guy with the better economy. He's got the stronger ground army, but those seven Vikings and two Liberators make a big, big difference. It's hard to break through there. Ooh. He can get very cost efficient with this type of uh, set of units, whereas Ryung, he just wants to bulldog his way through. It's interesting to see the little mini game going on here where he gets the Vikings out, he fires at the medevac. That, oh. That, oh my God! All right. Ooh. Well, I'll talk about that in a minute here. We have Doom a drop big incoming. ass drop coming in here. Oh I don't know God. if Bion is going to be ready. This is going to be right on top of his production facilities. That is a gigantic drop right there. So many sea chanks. So many marines stemmed up as well. If Bion can clear this out cost efficiently, that's fantastic. But that's going to be really hard going up a ramp. Yeah, this is going to be uh, possibly the most impactful attack in the entire game here. Uh, he is completely wiping out everything that was for production up here, Ooh, which means yeah. that Bion is going to start running out of units very quickly. He needs to just continue to leapfrog his units away from these um, Liberators. I'm actually surprised. I guess the, those Liberators are covered by tanks there on the low ground for Bion. But right now, oh, everything man. inside the main of Bion has been destroyed. Yeah, Bion is losing enough production and whatnot that this is a situation where I think Ryung is just going to overrun him overall. Like, even if he clears this out, Ryung has full production, he has full economy, whereas Bion is going to have to rebuild a lot of stuff. Uh, also, keep in mind, the center of the map, there's nothing there for Bion. So I think we might see a second attack head to the bottom right, mm -hmm. Mason. That's exactly what we have here. He's, there it is, GG. Wow. Damn, that was neck and neck until that drop. It was, it was, it, it, there were points where one player got like a little lead, and yeah. then the other guy got uh, you know a lead in return. But uh, really great good play. It, it, had he not dropped at the right point in time, that would never have worked. Too. Absolutely. So you like, have to get a really good read and say, oh, I see the opening. Yeah. Here we go. And the thing is, there were sensor towers. Bion picked up. He tried to get back there. Realistically, uh, it might have been better for Bion to unsiege and go forward and do a base trade right there because a lot of times when that doom drop gets down the tanks are in such a nice position there's enough marines you can't drop on top it just becomes ridiculous trying to clear it yeah really nicely done there uh Ryung, very impressive here mm -hmm. uh, as a tdt player that was one of the best tdt's we've casted all year actually that game just back there i'm curious to see what's going to happen now in game two but Everybody's saying Bion should be taking this, but then you look at it, and uh, Ryung you know, definitely was a better player in game one. He was, but I do want to point out Bion kind of had a shaky start, and that Ryung true. held on a lead for like 80 to 85% of the game. I felt like Ryung probably had the lead there. Uh, 
So, uh, you know what? I think if Bion, he can clean up his early game just slightly, get rid of those nerves, he still has his shot. Make Reapers. Yep, I agree with everything <laughs> you're saying. All right, guys, tell your friends to join us here. We are now going into game number two. This is Ryung versus Bion on the map, Frozen Temple. What? <laughs> Did something just crash? <laughs> it sounded like it. Yeah. MVP Chicken Maru Ryung. Looks like he has a double jointed thumb. Do you have a double jointed thumb, Tasteless? Uh, I don't know. Do I? What, what yeah. is it? I have a double jointed thumb? Yeah, if it can go backwards, it's double jointed. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm so talented. Yeah. In the upper left. <laughs> Bjorn. You worked so hard to be born like that genetically. Yeah, this, well, this <laughs> is one of my cool stats if I'm an RPG character, you know? It's like Fallout. I pick just, you know, one or two extra little things, like yeah. pick double jointed thumb. <laughs> Thanks for coming down, guys. Welcome to the studio. We are in for a treat tonight. Uh, already one great TVT. Yeah, that was such I, a nice game. I actually game. think this might go to game five. Yeah. Uh, they looked like really close. It also doesn't seem like they have a ton of holes in their early game. You know, TVT sometimes does just end right away. Mm -hmm. um, but they seem to know how to get all the way to, you know, the later part of the game and still be okay. Yeah, there was a lot of great maneuvering. They both really understood the, the strengths and weaknesses of the types of compositions they were coming up with. Uh, I like overall the style with which Bion played that, especially where he was adding in the Vikings and keeping the air dominance. But Ryung made that really devastating move of picking up everything and going to uh, the, the Doom Drop scenario. So, I mean, good on him. Very well-deserved victory. Here we are in game two on Frozen Temple, and both of them opening up with a Reaper into some tech. Yeah. Now, uh, we were talking about this earlier, but uh, Bion kind of known to be the best player with the Reaper in the game. Um, what, will that mean a lot with these two guys playing since they played each other so many times before? Maybe not, but uh, mm. definitely something to keep your eye on. Uh, he definitely gets more damage off with a Reaper than I think pretty much any other turn, at least that I can think of. Yeah, uh, especially if you look at his Reaper play in uh, TVZ. Like, he's the best 3RX Reaper player in the world. Yeah. Uh, no doubt about that in my mind whatsoever. Now, that's a pretty good catch there. Yeah. Uh, Abion immediately scouts out um, the hidden SCB down there. So that's going to be a shutdown. Uh, what could have been later Intel or, you know, if the other player had wanted to hide a structure down there, that's mm -hmm. now out of the um, possibility. Now, uh, Ryung scouting in here. Ryung is actually teching up a little bit quicker with that starport, whereas Byun went immediately into a command center. So that's kind of a big deal. Okay, uh, he's actually going to catch uh, Ryung's yep. Reaper as well. That's a big deal. Yeah. Uh, if you lose just one of those and you're both going for Reapers into Hellion, uh, yeah. it can make a pretty big deal. You know, that's one extra Reaper to fire grenades, and obviously it's just yeah. one extra gun being shot in a fight. It, very true. Like, you a lot of times use them for tanking, and of course those grenades can be fantastic. Oh, nice shot there, though. Any hit you get right now is really, Whoa! really important. Almost lost everything there. Bion does manage to back off. Mm -hmm. Cloaked Banshee for Ryung. So uh, keeping uh, this aggression up. Well, I guess he hasn't done the aggression yet, but like he hasn't made the command center, right? So he's continuing to uh, make Hellions, getting the Banshee. He's definitely going to be moving out to put on an attack. Will be on to have what it takes to actually stop that. I wonder if he's going to, yeah, he's getting a Cyclone. So that is exactly the type yeah, of unit he needs right sense. now. Well, I think with the Cyclone in the game now, it, it does make it a little bit riskier for these players that do try to rush to a Banshee. Because mm -hmm. um, because the cyclone can shut things down and you don't even really get to yeah. trade at all. You know the, the cyclone's a very different. Oh, hold up! Cyclone is like ridiculously strong against like very high tech early game units. Yeah, it, but it actually has really punished a lot of these people that do these uh, you know one base ag aggression builds. Yeah, yeah, a cyclone is just knocks that out of the park and it really does change the way the Terran can function uh, in an early game like this. It really reminds me of the mothership. Oh, court, hold up! To be hold honest. up! Oh. Coming out, and that's a nice lock on right there. Oh, okay. It got knocked back, but it didn't <laughs> matter. It's still locked on. Yeah. It shot. It. it shot exactly two computer screen lengths there, <laughs> and managed to kill that unit. Mm. Okay. Uh, cloaked Banshee going to be coming in. By the way, counter cloak for Bion. Where? Where is the cloaked Banshee at on the uh, mini map? It's going to be right up at the top, to the right of the main oh, base. There he it waited is. for cloak to finish, Couldn't and here see he is. On the mini map. Here we go. Yeah. The, uh, okay. So one kill so far. Cyclone is actually out of position right now, so this yeah. is a really worthwhile Banshee so okay, far. Okay. Here we go. And I think he's actually going to be able to get it. Yep. Yeah. Now, see, that's that's the thing that makes the uh, Cyclone so interesting is that a lot of times when it was just the Viking out, right? 
you'd shoot at the Banshee, and then the thing would eventually fly away. Yeah. And, uh, you need, we, like, three to make sure you got it with a scan. Okay, and, like, I think he sees this. Mm -hmm. Goes near that turret. He's got to be careful about that. Okay, he's actually going to get this one as well, Ooh. I think. Oh, no scan. Okay, I thought he had a scan banked up. Mm. But I think he's actually still going to get this, right? Yeah, yeah okay. There's just now. no way. He just had really good positioning there. All right, so Bion's doing a really good job. Uh, he's kind of shutting down everything that Rian has been trying to do. And now it's 53 supply to 68. So... Yeah, uh, quite a know, difference there. Yeah, it's it's paid off. Okay, so Ryung, does he get to hold on at this point? Because, you know, we do have more army supply over here for Byun. He does have his own Banshees with Cloak. Cloak about to finish. Oh, a Raven is out, though. Very Ooh. nice build there. The Raven going to help so much. Oh, but hold up. Will it matter? He's going to come right in here right now, doing a great amount of damage onto those Marines. The Hellion shot's really spreading nicely. Uh, the Banshee's still present right now. He is going to back off after seeing that Cyclone. No, he's actually not. <laughs> a little bit suicidal. I thought he was going to not yeah. send that in. If he didn't have a scan there, that Banshee could have been a game winner. But yeah. he did have the scan, and suddenly Ryung has held it. So, uh, Bion bouncing right off of Ryung in that attack. Let's see if he tr uh, persists. <laughs> no, he actually uh, goes ahead and heads back. He's going to take a third base and try to keep a lead that way. All righty. That third uh, command center. Very, very nice. Uh, Bion's is going to finish as well, though. It's not that far behind, really. He's already got Stim on the way. He's already got that plus one attack on the way as well. Okay, he's coming down now. And this is the Banshee once again coming in here. Now, we, let's see if he actually manages to have this shut down or not. Okay, this is why you want to be very cautious when that Cyclone oh. locks on. Oh, he's trying to fish the Cyclone in over in this area. Oh, very cute move right there. And, he's, uh, he's trying to fish <laughs> the Cyclone over there so he can shoot yeah. down his Cyclone, which is kind of funny. Yeah, it's always funny watching Cyclones try to get within range of each other. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's what he was planning, but it didn't quite work. He did yeah. suffer some losses back there. So both of them going into bio. Third base coming up for Bion a little bit faster here. He does have map control right now. He's been the aggressor a little bit later on. Uh, that's okay, though. It's not a really big deal. They're still both kind of working on their SCV counts. And as Ryung fills up that natural, I'm sure he's going to float over and take his own third. So Ryung going to have to play a little bit of catch up here as he's going to have to um, continue onward with because he kind of made some mistakes early on. Bion has a little bit more options at his disposal. Uh, so Bion uh, doing a good job, but let's see how the next few attacks go. Remember, in the last game, it was Bion that made a few mistakes at the start. And he was kind of trying to play yeah. the catch-up game, and it yeah. just didn't, you know. And he, in fact, to be fair, he actually did do it. But then in the end, Ryung had this, you know, great move, great at play end. at the end, and just close it out. But yeah. it's going to be interesting to see how Ryung operates in a game where he's, you know, a little bit behind yeah. in the race. It's it's exactly the opposite of last game, right? Where yeah. Ryung was slightly ahead in every way in the last game, he's slightly behind in all ways now. When and, you really look at it, you know, there's a lot of different ways to do that. I mean, some players will take huge risks when they get behind. Mm -hmm. And try to you know do a, you know uh, some gambles and hope that it pays off. Other players just win through their tenacity of just trying to weather every attack. Yeah. Um, some people will try to hide stuff like bases and hope it doesn't get <laughs> caught and then end up with the game balancing out. Um, but it seems like these two guys, both very tenacious, very just willing to uh, kind of hang on for yeah. dear life and, and, and try to just fend everything off and play a really proper StarCraft Two game. Okay, so. Uh, this is the way that Ryung looks like he wants to do. He's doing some kind of technical harassment. He does have right. that Viking lead right now, and he's trying to use a couple tank of axe uh, to gain an advantage. Oh, wow. I didn't see that the Vikings were over there. Mm. You can see he put three Marines in there, almost like some kind of sheepdog maneuver to try to drive the medevacs back sheep out. Sheepdog <laughs> maneuver. I like uh, that. But hey, uh, there, were, there were actually Vikings over there, so uh, it just got shut oh. down. Whoa. Whoa. Big okay, mistake that's big. there. Losing two Vikings. That's... I mean, he still has air control, so that's good for him, but that's kind of brutal to just have two rallied out there and lose them. Still, it's a pretty even game still. Obviously, Bion has the much better army, but with that air control, you can kind of keep him back a little bit easier. It's just uh, there's a possibility that we'll see Bion do something like a big stim attack forward and, and be able to overwhelm uh, Ryung at some point. Yeah, well, that's the scary part is, especially when you're on three bases, uh, you can easily max out on that. And um, yeah. if you, the other player doesn't have enough, especially in TVT, even though it's hard to break down a Terran, if you have considerably more, your the Stim Marines come in there 
start shooting everything, mm -hmm. even if they're getting hit by tanks, and then the tanks drop behind it. And the, it, it, it's odd because TBT is generally a long-lasting matchup, but sometimes has the shortest engagements ever. Yeah. Like, ever. The, the damage output of Stim Marines is really second to none. I guess yeah. Bailings well, might be with, higher. with tanks behind him as well. <laughs> yeah, certainly. So he's going to come up here from the bottom. Uh, sieging up at that third base a little bit, taking care of the gas. It's not like the biggest deal in the whole world, oh. but definitely a headache. A big drop, oh. though, going towards the main. Nothing's here. Okay, now if he can get on top of these production facilities and start to take everything out, that's going to be huge. Tanks are coming in. Looks like Bion doesn't engage and said runs further in here to try to gun down more mm. workers. And I got to say, this attack is working very nicely. We're young, already lost, losing 22 SCVs. Yeah, that is a huge amount of SCVs going down. Continuing to push forward a little bit with those siege tanks. More Marines stimming up for Bion, trying to get some extra damage done. He actually has 2-2 on the way, whereas uh, Ryung is very late on that. So he's starting to get even more advantages now. Wow, that was crazy. And actually taking out these gases, by the way, at that expansion is also pretty big because tanks and medevacs are so important mm -hmm. uh, in this matchup. And there's plenty of other gas upgrades that you're getting that that could even mean Bion will get ahead in another way by having just more tanks and medevacs. Now, Bion a little bit out of position there, to yeah. be sure. That seemed very wasteful to me, Tasteless. It seems like he was being a little bit too greedy leaving those siege tanks there while flying around with drops and to lose four and like a medevac, ouch. Yeah, I feel like after a move like that, you want to stay back yeah. for just like a, a minute or so and try to gather up another big army. Um, but yeah, he got a little bit too gun ho there. Uh, Ryung, because he just won that last little engagement, Ryung can feel pretty comfortable moving around the map. Yeah, like his army's good now in comparison. Yeah. Uh, if there were four more siege tanks for Bion, he'd be up by like three siege tanks, I believe. I mean, the real But instead, it's like a very similar armies after after losing all those extra units. Yeah, the real difference here is uh, the worker count. It's 46 to 71 with Bion in the lead. So that, that's, that's a lot of workers mm. that Bion has mining for him. So, uh, Bion could definitely try to keep an advantage, but right now the army size for Young is big enough that I think Bion has to respect it and yeah. stay back home. Yeah, he's he's definitely got to be careful. If he's caught out of position or anything, like all the SCVs in the world aren't going to help you if you lose your army at this point in the game. So uh, and that's, definitely that one misstep, uh, giving Young a lot of hope here to go up 2-0 possibly, but very uh, close game still. So uh, this map is shaped very differently from the previous map. So I don't think we're gonna we're gonna necessarily see a late game that looks similar. Yeah. Uh, to what we saw in game number one on this map, you, you can pretty much go anywhere, get anywhere. There's like three major paths through the map, mm. whereas in the last one, there's just one. So it looks like we're gonna be on come down here now, try to put some pressure on over here at this base, um, the third base right now for Beyond. Yeah, nice move back there by now, Bion as Ryung was coming in. He might try to go for another drop here. I'm not sure. Uh, he might also try to just break this down, but it's definitely an option. Yeah, uh, he, he's just harassing the gas over and over. I like this move. That was a good try. It doesn't really do anything in the natural, but worth a try. Uh, but yeah, like, what do you think about this? He just keeps nailing these gases. Uh, I, I think it's really smart. I think just taking out the gases, that's enough to really s oh, slow down everything. Okay, he's got to back out there for <laughs> sure. Uh, clever no, I, I think it's very good. I mean, it's not something we see all the time here. Hold up. Another big drop. Now, when he sees too many tanks that have already been dropped down there, oh, my God, is he going to be He could be trapped here? Yeah. No, he doesn't quite do this right. It looks like beyond. Oh, oh, no, here he oh. comes, here he comes. Oh, that's a big oh, deal. Oh, dude, that's actually stuck. Look at this. This is where you build turrets all along. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Just Vikings it coming. Oh my god, those Vikings are gonna oh force the issue right now. This is so bad for No me. one leaves here Dude. alive. Beyond making a oh, big misstep. Oh man, that was just like a beautiful position he got on him. You Talk about getting no yeah. equity out of those units in the medevacs. Seriously. That was really cool. The amount of supply that he Whoa. just tanked to try to get those gases. Like, I like trying to abuse something like that gas positioning, but he put everything on the line, and now he's yeah. in so much trouble. You have, like, he's got good upgrades. He's still got an okay-ish army, but for sure, Ryung is ahead now. Ryung has to be feeling great after killing all those units. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. That was uh, a really impressive job there by Ryung. We don't get to see that very often where he actually got all the medevacs just trapped. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, what is Byung going to do to this massive army that's headed northbound? Uh, this army i think actually can't be stopped and you look at beyond supply and a lot of that's just an scvs which are not going to be helpful mm -hmm. in a fight 
No, that, that is a fact right there, Tasteless. He is way down in Marines. That is the true issue here. He has a uh, fine amount of siege tanks. It's just like if Ryung can get the type of surface area he needs for an engagement, he should be able to slaughter through. But the thing is, we're getting very close to those max supplies too, right? So he's not going to be able to keep up this supply lead in army forever. Will he be able to capitalize on what just happened down there? Well, for one, he at least has control of the map. Beyond has to try to maneuver out. You can see a lot less time spent landing mules, a lot more time just scanning everywhere to try to get a read on uh, what exactly is going on. Um, and look at this, a great attack in here. I don't know if Beyond's going to be ready. Oh, that is a great stimming. And Beyond actually coming up to the other side, trying to get some damage done. A huge amount of Marines stim in there to try to stop him, though. Actually, this might have been the play that Ryung needed to have here. He's able to hit this base, and he's, and, you know, whenever you get in a position like this, especially when tanks are involved, and you can cut the player in half and shut down circulation, that can be it. Yeah, this is looking not very good for Byun right now. He's trying his best to hold on. He's still got a sizable army coming back, trying to clear out everything that uh, Ryung brought up with him. Oh, wow, nice play here. Just gets a few more SCVs, continuing to try to run out. Um, you see that Ryung, now that Byun is completely backed off, he's going to send the next army out here, mm. see if he can't find anything uh, to catch his opponent off guard. Now look at the supplies real quick here. This is important. 158 to 152, the worker count's almost the same as well. Yeah, it, a lot of things have been evened up. In fact, Ryung is going to get 3-3 three, three as well, so their upgrades will be even also. Uh, yeah, they're also on even numbered bases now. Yeah. This is, uh, I mean, these two are really, really good match for each other. But, you know, in the beginning of last game, it felt like Beyond was a little bit off, and there's been a couple moves this game where it's like, oh, I think you're out of position. Mm -hmm. And Ryung is not really making those mistakes as much. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's uh, That's the thing is they're both having really, really good games, but it seems like uh, Ryung is just kind of a little bit better in every way, which is sort it, of the – it's funny because it's the opposite of, I think – I know you and me, but I think most people that are watching this would have thought it would have actually been Beyond yeah. that comes in and and, and would be uh, – have a little bit of an edge. But it looks like the training that Ryung did with these other teams play, paid off. Okay, here he comes, stemming in a huge amount of Marines, making a huge Whoa. arc here. And Beyond has to pick up a siege shank, start running backwards. That angle was just too good. Yeah. That was way too sharp of an angle there for uh, Ryung hit so hard that not all of uh, Beyond's units could get into a formation where they could actually reach and do damage. Mm -hmm. And I think that Ryung is going to keep going for it. I think he's actually, oh, no, I stand corrected. I thought he was going to try to edge in there and maybe drop near the natural and try to cut off the ramp. But no, he's going to back up here. Uh, he's going to pick off absolutely anything he can get his hands on. Even though this is a four-base game, the economies are a little bit low. They're both yeah. spending every dime that comes in instantly. They're not able to bank. They're not max out right now. Yep. So anything you can shave off is a victory. A lot of times in TBT, um, if, it, if it's not as action-packed as this one, you'll suddenly see three command centers pop up somewhere yeah. on the map as they just start to get this excess of minerals. Uh, and they'll usually try to mine a lot of gas from those expansions, but it seems like this has been so back and forth and so many armies have been traded that, yeah, it, it's it's really heating up here on four bases, and these bases are eventually going to mine out. So uh, the next few engagements are going to be critical. Mm. Both players kind of flying around, maneuvering, seeing what they can do. Definitely map control is going to Ryung right now. He's got good armies all over the place, but Beyond does run in with kind of a stealth force here. And this wow. is a fantastic move. Takes down the command center, which had tons of energy on it. And now he's in the main base on the production. Yeah, he could just take out all these add-ons, anything that pops out of here. Oh, uh, but Ryung, Ryung has not gone back. Now, uh, okay, it looks like he's going to try to turn around now, but I think by then the damage has already been done. I mean, Stim Marines. Uh, just, just pop these buildings like they're balloons. Yeah, he's There's done a just ton of damage. That's going to make it very hard for Young to keep up on his macro. In fact, look at this. Even as the units come up, he continues to stim and fight these four medevacs, healing everything up. But Seed Shank finally comes to help out. And yeah, Young no. ch chasing him back everywhere. Now, I think Young is going to have to try to move across the map and mm. do some more damage over here. But I don't know if that's going to be possible. It would seem like from here, Young should have a pretty easy time holding on. The fact that like half the production was shut down. Yeah. I mean, beyond this is almost like a choose your own adventure of wind at this point in time. 
He's he's definitely got the edge because it's hard for Ryung to actually macro back up. He's lost a lot of SCVs. He can't produce as many units as quickly. His bank is going to be a little bit bigger because of that. But he's still got a good, strong standing army. He's moving towards uh, Byun, but there's no way he breaks Byun here. Meanwhile, uh, Ryung, uh, just a crippling blow. Uh, I'm not really sure, especially with even the worker count where it is. Ooh, oh, God. If it worked the move. first time, why not just do it again? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess so. If it's uh, not broken, don't fix it. Yeah, he's so, dealing tons of damage here. Look at this. The starport going to go down. Ryung just can't really produce units. Where I does think, he go from here? Well, I think he's going to try to come in here for a base trade. I don't know if it's going to be that effective. Yeah, this is, this is a good try. This is a good idea. I don't think it'll end up working. Drops off all of his units here, but... Byung knows all he needs to do here is wipe out this army. A big stem for dropping his siege tanks as well. I and think he's going to tap out. Yeah, that's, that's game. Nothing left. Um, I mean, I guess theoretically he could try to stay in the game, but I think he, when you look at all the options, well, no. especially when he loses all that. GG. Wow. We are now tied up one and one. And this is a really good TBT, by the way. What I really enjoy this. These two are really well matched Man. for TBT. I, I can't believe how even they are. It, it's funny because it does go back and forth, back and forth, but never by that much, right? Yeah. Until eventually somebody gets a blow off that's so dramatic. Um, but it, they don't seem to be able to do it early on. You know, yeah, it, it, it's pretty hard early on because you can kind of keep track of where your opponent is and where everything is. But when you start hitting these max supplies with huge armies that can move very swiftly, uh, it can be hard, especially when it, it, they're so battle heavy. Uh, one pattern that we should be looking at is that during these close games, the guy who's making the crippling blow onto the production of the other Terran player is the one that's coming out ahead. And that has been the history of Terran for the past 17 years. If you get on top of their production, yeah. they're going to be crippled. That's that's how you, you basically, uh, or one of the ways you basically defeat a Terran player is you get on top of his production. Um, because anything that's going to pop out of there is immediately killed yeah. off. So, Terran units are the worst alone in the game. That's and, right. And, uh, the you know, best together. Yeah. It's it, So getting on top of that, cutting that off, and not letting them continue to reinforce, especially considering their production is so technical with reactors, tech labs, all sorts of buildings. Great moves by these guys. Now it's tied up one to one. Game number three. We're about to jump into this. The map is going to be Frost. Uh, I do like what you pointed out, Artosis. No matter what, these games are only ending with one uh, fatal blow into yeah. the main. It seems like otherwise there's just no way these guys can kill each other. Seems that way. Frost going to be our next map. A big four-player map for game number three. The winner going to be on match point for the rest of the match. All right, let's do this. Ryung versus Byun. Our third match tonight in this GSL Code S. In the upper right, in the blue. MVP Chicken Maru, Ryan. And in the bottom left, in the red. Beyond. So he doesn't have a team, so they gave him something to wear, but I swear it seems like we stole this from a pilot. I know, right? Right? It's like a bad uh, Halloween costume. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, we got them both in cross positions. This map uh, could make for a pretty interesting TBT. Uh, between these two especially, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to cut off in total circulation, especially in these spots on this map. Mm -hmm. So uh, we might have another one of these games, kind of like the last one where they're flying around, trying to uh, get around each other, outmaneuver each other, mm -hmm. and, and do as much damage as they can do. Uh, yeah, like this map definitely is uh, very harassable at some of these bases. There's a lot of different ways in. They're cross spawns right now, which means that they have like a, a wider angle to defend against. That's right. And it takes longer to get there. So. I mean, definitely you could see a crippling move, but because of how far away they are from each other, if they really stay on top of where the army movements are, this game could go really, really long as well. Okay, so I got a question for you, Artosis. Yes. Think back to all the casting you've done over the last, um, you know, six years or so together here for StarCraft II. Mm -hmm. When is the last time we had a TBT that looked this close? Like last Wednesday? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I don't know, man. Like this is. I don't think we've we've actually casted a Terran versus Terran where the two players looked this even. Yeah, these two. In, like maybe ever. Yeah, like. And I'm not. And they just, both have by the way, guys, strengths. I'm not, just, I'm not just saying this to pimp out the show. I mean, this is. I actually. He's feel not this. just saying this because legends are made. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's actually true. Like no, they, I can't they think are... of a TNT where two guys have been this even. Yeah, in, even in GSL ever. Even in games that are pretty even, like we had a pretty even TVT where it was like reality Ryung maybe earlier this season, like round of 32 or something, and it was like one game that was really close and really good, but like. Watching these two, they both have like a very large mastery on what's going on. They have different skill sets. You can see their different styles kind of coming out a little bit. Yeah. Even though it's uh, like the same types of strategies, you can see what they're like kind of focusing well, on, what they're looking for. But like, it's so back and forth, and it's only going like a few percent one way or the other until the death move, where it's like, "Ha! I got you!" Like you put your guard down for one second, and bam, a shank in your side. Yeah. Well said. It, it, it's. Uh it's so close, and even though the killing blow is dramatic, mm. it's like if the if, if the other player had been ready for even just a second or two earlier, he could have deflected that, and the game would have go on. It's almost like in that last game, uh, Bion was playing at like 52 percent uh, of, of the, all the power in that game, and Ryung was just at 48. You yeah, know? it was like that little sliver of a difference that ended up because um, a lot of the TBTs we cast it just ends almost immediately, uh, and then we have like one or two long games in there. But so far. I don't think you could ask for closer matches yeah. here. Yeah, it, it is super close. Now, that being said, I'm still kind of feeling Bion for the series, uh, especially when I look at, like, the way that they've both been playing. Like, Ryung's move to finish it in game one was really quite a brilliant move. It was a brave move. He, he was like, okay, this is my best chance right here to actually end this game and kill him. Yeah. But I feel like... We're seeing more small mistakes in some ways out of Bion oh, that can hold be up. picks easier. Okay, so I Bion guess. came in at a good angle, and that bunker is going to save the day. Mm. Yeah, I think you might be right. Uh, we'll have to see, it's though. Like, yeah, I, thought, it, I, thought, I thought Ryung actually did a very good job um, in that last game, uh, of especially when Bion was up in expansion. Ryung was yeah. still flying around, and... and uh, staying in the game. But that what I'm talking, like, for instance, when Bion went down and sieged up the gases and was like, yeah. like, first time he left his siege tanks there and then they just died. And then, like, the second time he's like, well, I'm going to get those gases again. And then he loses his entire army because of it. And it's like, huh, like, I feel like these are moves that are easier to fix for Bion than the mistakes we're seeing out of Ryong. Okay. I, so, yeah, anyways, I, I'm still definitely feeling Bion for this series. Okay, interesting. I, for me, I, I think it's kind of up in the air for me. Uh, Ryung, though, uh, actually under fire here and is going to lose that Banshee. Do you think they should not be making those Banshees early, like uh, trying to come in here mm. like this? I mean, the, you, you know that the Banshee has sort of always been this fixture in TVT, but yeah. just looking at these two players and how strong they are, when was the Banshee ever really doing anything, considering you have to get Cloak and obviously make the Banshee as well? You're not getting uh, much return on your investment here. Yeah, so far, you're really not that much. Looky, looky, But, see. like, when you think about it, right, if you don't bring that in there, then they do get the mule drop down and get those extra minerals. So it's like that doesn't necessarily pay for it. But if you get just a few kills with it, it's going to be worthwhile, I think. So, like, I see why they're continuing to make them, and I think that they probably should continue to make them. But... Maybe try to be a little bit sneakier the angles they're coming in from, because I feel yeah. like the Cyclones are finding them well, in one second. I, yeah, I suppose we've had these moments where the Banshee is just kind of there over the middle of a base. And yeah. It's like, well, you're going to lose that 100%, it's, whereas if you tried to shave off one SCV around the gas and then try to run away before the skin, um, and the Cyclone can get into a good position, maybe that would be yeah. better. Yeah, like maybe, uh, maybe if you can bring them in, like... For instance, like Protoss players with Oracles, like they're so used to dealing with this Cyclone that like they'll open up a hole in the fourth dimension to come out from the side that the map doesn't even exist on. You know, like they'll find a way to try to sneak in there so that the, it doesn't get locked on immediately. And maybe that's something that they need to, to look for. I think so. Um, we see the command center now coming in over here and the Banshee's gonna try to come in. Um, Looks like he spots. He might be actually waiting until SCVs are transferred. Maybe just get these few SCVs over here. Ooh, I like that. Wouldn't hurt lot. to get those tanks, actually. Uh, They're up there. They don't I don't see anything there to help defend. Oh, it's coming for him. Okay, here we go. Yay, Cyclone. Yay. <laughs> okay. 
looks like, uh, <laughs> yeah, no matter what, you can never get away from that yeah, unit no. ever. Cyclone's wreck. Fires a missile that's so long it goes into another game and kills somebody else's unit. Yeah. The game, there's no Terran player in there. People are totally confused. Cyclone has a tattoo on its arm that says, I hate flying units. <laughs> oh, Artosis, I think I think you should go home and I'll solo cast yeah. the rest of this. Oh. Uh, well, uh, we have Bjorn moving out now to the upper right. <laughs> I'm going to tattoo in my arm that says I hate Tasis. <laughs> then me and Todd will be tattoo buddies. But, uh, Todd, Todd's new tattoo on his arm looks good, man. Yeah. That sleeve, man, he's just good. He suddenly became cooler than us, man. Yeah. That's what good tattoos do. That. Get more coolness cred there. And you've um, got a beard and stuff. I'm just the same old guy I've been for like 20 years. Uh, this is an interesting move Ooh. here by Brian. I don't know. I don't even understand what. Did he not think the rest of the army was with that? Yeah. He's like, my, <laughs> my <laughs> elite strike force of a Hellion and a Cyclone and two Marines. Yeah. Bjorn's just like, all right, just shoots it all down. Mm. <laughs> okay, Bjorn coming in right now. And, uh, you know, this is pretty hard to defend against everything. Brings up these two tank evacs. Kind of a nice position. Okay, he's got the Raven over here. Looks like we're going to have auto turrets come down. Now he's just going to pick up and go away, right? Mm. Yeah, that's the play. Look, that's a lot of energy as well uh, out of yep. that Raven. And still, you know, just picking off units. Okay, so tanks over here uh, doing some more damage. But he's just going to keep probably moving these and trying to hit anything that he can. Uh, Ryung is down slightly in supply, and that's army supply, not really workers, even though, uh, in fact, he actually has more workers uh, right now. Ooh. All right, here we go. He's coming in now. Uh, yeah, this is a great move to the back of the third base, picking off quite a few. Look at that. For, like, uh, nothing, he basically gets five SCVs. Now, uh, uh, the game is not over by any uh, measure yet, but this is definitely a game that could end soon if, if mm -hmm. Young keeps having engagements that go like this. Yeah, everything's definitely going his because way. The, uh, like, everything's even except for where Bjorn's ahead, which is in the army right now. Yeah. It's it's uh it's pretty interesting because they didn't quite have the third bases for long enough where they would max out, but yeah, he got in there at a pretty critical point in time and actually Bjorn did a good amount of damage back there. Yeah, he certainly did. Now uh, Ryung, he is setting up a sensor tower. Uh, looks like you know he's going to send this over maybe for some harassment, it, but I, it, map control going completely to Bjorn. Like he's yeah. staying forward with well, this. He's, he's got the watchtower. He's got a foot. Yeah, you beat me to yeah. it. He's got a foothold over here at that watchtower. Now is he going to try to engage up here? Also note that the ideal fourth base would be at the top to the right here. Uh, he's wow, great control by Bjorn. He needs to back up though, get out of that tank range. Mm -hmm. I don't know what just happened there. Was that just a some auto, auto turret? turret okay. Yeah. Doesn't look like that big of a deal for Bion right now. They have those, uh, I mean, everything is pretty even, but you've got to give like an advantage to the Terran player who is out on the map. This is something yeah. that's so great about TY's TBT is that he will like 90% of the time be the Terran out here like Bion is, trying to stay aggressive, trying to keep positioning. Really good drop right there by Ryung to shove it back. Um, so I was trying to talk about this earlier, but a big battle happened. But the fourth base that Byung wants to take is at the top, just to the left of his main. And the fact that Byung is putting pressure on in this location makes it very difficult to take it. Yeah. Well, look at this right now. Like, I love this harassment from that one Raven down at the bottom, kind of making him lose mining time. But this is a great move as well. While Ryung is trying to push through the center, Byung going for a double medevac drop. Uh -oh. Lots of Marines actually he need needs to stand. unload this. Uh, it looks like uh, he should be able to take a little bit of an advantage here because of the medevacs and a few more Marines. The SCV is being pulled, and this drop is doing some serious oh damage. Oh, my God. Already 13 workers killed. The Marines still back here, not able to be healed. This is doing so much damage. It looks like Ryung's going to have to go back oh. and try to defend the upper right. Meanwhile, Bjorn might be able to push in. Yeah, he's gaining a big foothold oh in the center as now, well. As Marines pop out, he's you. killing them. This goes to show you, even if it's a small number of stuff over production, that could be disastrous for... Yeah. Uh, for Rhea, uh, or for any Terran, rather. Uh, and I don't think he has quite has the army necessary to bring the Simak. And this is actually probably not what he would want to do, is send back more workers. Ryung is going to try to bust through the center, but I think Bion is just too on top of everything. You're very right about that. He is holding on, using that watchtower Dude. to great success. And the amount of SCVs he's killed with this drop is just phenomenal. That drop, that drop may have been the most important part in this game here, yeah. game number three. 
It's a, it's such a great move. Like, and this all do it comes again, too. because he is keeping map control, and like yeah. he sees, he's like, okay, Rang's coming out. I have the watchtower. I see your whole army's here. Bam! I drop you, and just use defender's advantage, and that's exactly what he's trying to do here. Now Ryung trying to punch through the middle again, but a double medevac drop hits that main, and he's, he's going to be on top again. of the production. Yeah, yeah, he can actually go for the reactors if he wants to here. Uh, we may have to actually have SCDs pulled over here. Oh, even gets the tank. This is just going swimmingly Huge for amounts him. Of swimmingly. <laughs> yes. yes, it is indeed. You don't say, Tasteless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, Ryung, it kind of pushed Beyond back out off of the map. Mm -hmm. uh, but Ryung is going to try to do a big counterattack and see how much damage he can do. Uh, as Beyond is just going to try to re re uh, retreat and gather up as much as possible mm -hmm. and only face this at the last possible second when he's confident he can win this fight. Because obviously the amount of damage he did over the barracks, uh, Bian knows he should have a larger supply. And yeah. right now that's actually 138 to 182. It's it's quite a difference, but a lot of it is in SCVs. Ryung still has a very strong army. So that is something that has to be taken into consideration. Like if Ryung gets one really great engagement, then suddenly it can all go back into his favor. So Bian cannot let up. You, you have to just keep going at a full pace and make sure that Ryung doesn't get to counter push you too strongly. Okay, Ryung is uh, backing up now. Uh, I think he's calmed down a little bit uh, in this moment, and that might be the right play. He's going to take his fourth base now. Now, hold up. He's scanning. He might actually try to move out here again. Mm. I believe he did scan those structures over there. That actually would be an easy location to try to drop on yeah. and just take that out. Ryung pushing forward, taking the watch hour. So this is the exact opposite of what was just happening. Ryung takes the watch hour. In fact, Bion is denying it with those siege tanks, which is really, really good. Now, uh, Bion is maxed out. Will he go and try to actually full on engage this? Well, he's up 20 army supply, so that's yeah. pretty significant, but I think. Jeez, I don't know, because uh, Ryung, like, this is okay. this is too scary to just stim into. Here we go. He's coming in now. So the tanks are actually at a really good angle here for Ryung. They're not getting targeted down, and that means that Bion's going to have to move back out of there. Great spot to drop those tanks in, by the mm -hmm. way. Just because they're in the center, it's hard for the other Marines to get around them and do that much damage. So Ryung is going to keep trying to press forward. However, the supplies here are so different, you got to wonder what else will Ryung be able to do if he loses this army, for instance. Yeah. Uh, there's really nothing else left for him. And I think Bion is going to try to go around with a drop here and uh, do damage to Ryung back at home. And that's exactly mm -hmm. what we have here. Hurting that fourth base yeah. of Ryung. Ryung cannot be affording to lose more SCVs and lose more mining time, especially when his mules are being dropped up there. Because he's already lost a lot. And now another double drop into that main base. A lot of Marines popping out trying to fight against us. But the medevacs definitely helping to overwhelm. OK, he's coming in. Um, and this is it's the same story <laughs> uh, over and over again. With the two medevacs and the Marines up here, you can just see how much is killed off. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Ryung and Bian also fighting here in the center of the map. Uh, I just worry that the greatly larger army uh, of Bian is eventually just going to topple the only thing that uh, Ryung has going for him in the middle of the map. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> you know, I. I love this game and what we're seeing from Beyond. That's like, it. Ryung, yeah, he just GG's. GGs. Okay, I want to talk just a little bit real quick about, like, the mentality behind what Beyond just did. Remember his very early push out with a couple tank backs and some Marines and a couple Hellbats? Like, he was staying on the left-hand side of Ryung's base, and he was pressuring over there. That kind of forced Ryung to take the third that was, like, in the center and it kept him from making anything like missile turrets over there. So as Bion continued to pressure with the sensor tower, he was able to start getting the drops in and screw up everything in the main base, pick off SCVs, pick off the units. Like, this was so beautifully done by Bion. Like, this was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant game. It's funny because they really don't seem to be able to completely overcome each other in the middle of the map. It's always about some drop, yep. some guerrilla attack somewhere on the map. It just starts that uh, snowballing effect that ultimately uh, one player wins. And uh, right now, Bion is up 2-1. Dude, I have a sick crush on Bion's TVT right now. Oh, like, too. that game was so well done. Like, everything about it, brilliant. I, Ryung is going to have to really, like, go full throttle in the next game if he wants to get yeah, to the Yeah, it's, it's going to be tough for him because as good as uh, Ryung is in this in this series, Bion just seems to be just slightly better. Mm. We are going to go to a short break. When we return, we're going to go on to game number four here in our first TVT tonight. We'll be right back. You're so bad for me. Yeah. 
책에서 듣다 있는 그대로 맑고 깨끗하게 피어나라고 겨울을 이겨낸 봄꽃이 내게 말했다 맑고 깨끗한 칠성사이다 신세계 <목소리> 대결의 룰을 아십니까? 대결은 환경이 매우 중요하지요. 그래서 아레나의 잔디들은 매우 세심하게 관리되고 있습니다. 물론 쉬운 일은 아니죠. 클래시로얄, 지금 다운로드 받으세요. 질서와 수호를 위해서라면 마귀 화염이 누구도 나를 막을 순 없어 방해하겠다면 전부 부서주지 나는 KT 기가 인터넷 당신과 끊김없이 게임을 즐기죠 어디서나 우린 함께해요 어때요? 나랑 콜라보 하실래요? 당신의 KT 오, 물로 지금 거의 뭐 수분을 그냥 갖다 들이붓는 것 같아요. 자, 바른 쪽과 안 바른 쪽입니다. 차에 보여드릴게요. 내가 발라봤는데 대표 앞으로 그냥 나도 찍어 발라야 될것 같아요. 잘 봐요. 자, 이렇게 깔끔하게 아래쪽만 다듬어도 선이 딱 살아있어요. 선 라인 같아요. 잠깐만. 어, 이런 느낌이구나. 어허. 오늘 여러 가지 제품들 올리브영에서 제가 지금 제품을 받아서 사용을 해봤는데 굉장히 좋은 것 같아요. 올리브영 제품이 짱이 같습니다. 기가 IoT 헬스 올레 TV 켜고 퍼팅하고 바이크 타고 체지방 체크까지 실감나게 재밌다 기가 IoT 헬스 김지원의 KT 할리스타 에브리데이 냠냠냠냠 여기요 이런 실시간 라이브 움짤 기능은 지금 스노우 앱에서 밖에 없죠? 굉장히 많은 팬분들이 영상 메시지와 메신저를 보내주고 계십니다 아프리카 원탑 여캠답게 이설이라고 메시지가 왔는데 길 가다 만나지 마라 길 가다 만나지 마라고 느낌 있죠? 리본 하나 찬 다음에 딸랑딸랑 고양이 섹시합니다 외쳐 스노우 헬라마 네 여러분 안녕하세요. 2016년 제주항공 모델 성준입니다. 리프레시 제주예요. 네, 아프리카 TV와 함께하는 킹덤 스토리 연애의 신. 어, 이거 사극을 찍는 것 같아요. 정말 안 어울립니다. 아, 약간 애소하고. 맞아요. 위초보 삼국 대결. 장비! 나이스! 나이스! 어, 나 심쿵했어. 17,800. 와! 분지는 무릎을 꿇을 수 있어요. 아, 뭐야, 이거 어떻게, 어떻게 보는 건데? 저에게는 간호 장비 같은 존재입니다. 아 진짜 유익한 게임이니까 여러분들 진짜로 많이 해보셨으면 좋겠습니다. 오바이 게임을 넘어선 액션 RPG 히트 양 팀이 이제 정해졌는데 그냥 대결을 하면 좀 재미가 없으니까요 아우! 어? 탈락! 어? 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 이성을 향해 쐈어요! 아이 큐피티 아이 큐피티야 뭐가 이 정도라면 4분 대 마무리 되나요? 자 이거 3대2 길 들어가는데요 유저 전체에게 깃털 천 개를 선물로 드립니다 타이밍이 지금인 것 같습니다 뜨만한 게임이 지금 모바일 게임에는 없다고 생각해요 어 힘찬 행사 마셔봐요 트로피카나 상큼상큼 과일 듬뿍 스파클링 리얼 프루트를 스파클링으로 과즙이 톡톡 쏜다 트로피카나 스파클링 스타일 상쾌
상쾌하면 되는 거야. 상쾌함의 높이가 다르다. Stylish Sparkling Water. Lotte t r e v i 오늘 나 축구원과 달리기하러 컬러로 왔어요. 안녕. 제주항공의 남자 축구원. 제주항공 안에서 특화팀이 따로 있어요. 저희가 이제 한 달에 노선을 정해서 특정 요일에 이렇게 저희가 하는 거예요. 딴따라 팀이요? 네, 저희 이제 음악 이렇게 악기 연주하는 팀. 어머 어머. 기내 프로포즈 해주는 그런 몰래 이렇게 남편분이 사연을 신청하셔가지고. 찍어서 보내드리고 제주항공은 음. 이벤트 회사 같은 음. 제주 제주항공 색깔이다 어, 블루다 블루 베이비 제주 미소가 생기다. 화사함이 생기다. 건강한 하루가 생기다. pH8.0과 풍부한 미네랄로 핑크빛 생기가 생기다. 아이시스 8.0. 이제 모두 핑크하세요. Okay, so I've been watching uh, that intro for a while, and it just no. occurred to me that it looks like the pro gamers are in ice cubes. That, yeah. that graphic. So I, it's I, like I'm those novelty imagine, ice cubes. Yeah, so I'm just, yeah, exactly. So I'm now imagining all those little pro gamer faces going into a small glass and then t a s t e s p o r s whiskey on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I have my drink. Oh, my. Um, that's how bad I yeah, am. Yeah, well, you know what I pros do? Pros and pro gamers. It's like Jabba the Hutt was bad when they put Han Solo on the wall. Well, I Tastes put them. Tastes frozen and put him into a glass and then drank him. I put him into a cup with a banana and some strawberries, then I put that in the blender to make myself a fruit smoothie. Oh, damn. Cases. You are a tyrant. Uh, you have blood all over the place. So, we are going to go into game number four right now. Uh, it's actually a lead here by Beyond, and these guys look super close, but it yeah. seems like Beyond, uh, just a few percentage points better. Yeah. Each game has ended with one player outmaneuvering the other one, getting on top of that production. And even if that only lasts for about 15 to 25 seconds, it's enough damage to curb the direction of the game. Yeah. And that basically results in a win. So uh, will this game be won with one player simply overpowering the other? I don't think so, at least not from the stuff we've had already. No. Uh, it'll probably be one or two wow. sneaky moves to close it out. Anyways, this is game number four. r y u n g versus b i a n In the upper left, he needs to turn the series around. MVP Chicken Maru, r y u n g And in the bottom right, in the red, b i a n Double finger gun. Yeah, he's doing one of those moves where it's like, "Hey, this guy!" <laughs> <laughs> All right. Really, uh, I mean, at game three, the the way that b y o n played that was so masterful. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming out. Oh, I could see myself back there. Thank you guys oh for God, coming that's down. Oh my God! Oh my God! This is your famous. Like, You're on TV. Who's that bearded man standing in the back? Like, <laughs> look at that creep. Why is he photo bombing those poor people? <laughs> See, yeah, there's, that is one of the odd things about this, right? Is that we're up here. I mean, I actually like our setup. We're down um, on on the studio floor. If you guys watched GSL before, we used to be up in this kind of um, like nest. Up